Fuji camera modes explained. That's what today's video is all about. So let's start with our X-T2 on fully automatic mode. So as you can see by the shutter speed dial, A for auto. ISO, A for auto. The lens, A for auto. So this is what most people are gonna use when they start with a Fuji camera. They're gonna probably use it in automatic mode so that the camera does everything for them. But as you learn more and more about the camera and you wanna control your photos a little bit more, we'll put it onto shutter priority. How about that? So what we'll do is this shutter dial here, after we've pushed up the locking tab on it, <clears throat> we'll turn the, light, the, the shutter dial around to 2 50th of a second. So that now is on shutter priority. Like with digital SLRs, they have a, a mode dial up here, which has got program, shutter, aperture, and manual dialed on, dial on it. Now this one doesn't, these Fuji cameras don't, but they come with three dials, or two dials, three dials, some of them. Uh, ISO, shutter, and exposure compensation. And also, you've got the aperture ring on them. Now some of the Fuji lenses have the aperture markings on them, some don't. This one does because it's a um, 16mm f1.4. Now, we're going to let the camera choose the aperture and the ISO. Now we're going to we're going to determine what shutter speed it, we have it on. So that's where your shutter priority comes into it. And it's really easy these Fuji cameras once you learn um, the, the three different the two different three different modes. Sorry, um, you're away laughing. Now that's set on two fiftieth of a second. Now. On the back, one of your dials, like you do on a normal digital SLR, you can control the shutter speed or aperture, whichever way you've got them programmed around. Now this here will give you stops in between 250th and 500 and 250th and 125th. So you can dial it around to variables in between those settings. So that's shutter priority mode explained. So now we're going to move on to aperture priority mode. Now we're going to leave the shutter speed dial and the ISO dial on automatic and we're going to turn the aperture off A onto the aperture scale. So we're going to take it right back down to 1.4. So we need a really shallow depth of field with 1.4 aperture. So that there really is aperture priority mode. And you see you can put onto any aperture you want. So with the lenses that don't have an aperture scale on them, like this 10 to 24 mil, you'll have a switch on here. And that is on to A, you can see that, or where is it? <laughs> Or onto aperture priority so then you can when it's on that setting there you can use the aperture ring and when put it onto there the aperture ring becomes an inoperable and the camera will select the aperture so that's that's one of the other lenses that don't have an aperture scale on so you'll know then um, how to use that this one doesn't have any switches on it it just has the dial on there, under A for auto, and then the aperture scale there. So that's aperture priority mode explained. Right, full on manual mode. You want to get really creative. So, what do we do? We're not going to have them on A for automatic, are we? So we're going to take all of them off. So, aperture ring, off. ISO, unlock the tabs and put the ISO on to say 200, that's the, the minimum, the base ISO on the X-T2. 
and then control your shutter speed to whatever you want. Now those settings there, full manual mode. Really easy. Really, really, really easy. And so on the end here we've got the exposure compensation dial. So you can darken or lighten the image however you see fit. So there you have all the modes explained. So anybody coming to a Fuji from say a Nikon or Canon and they're wondering where the program dial is for aperture priority, manual, shutter speed. That's how, how we do it on, in the Fuji world. So if you like the video, I hope that's been helpful for you. Hit the like button, subscribe, yada yada yada, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. Like they say in the commercials, but wait, there's more. No, I'm not finished yet. <clears throat> Just a bonus little tip for you. For anybody who's new to Fuji and they want to format their memory card, instead of diving in through all the menus, what you do is you hit the, the trash button for a couple of seconds, and then the back button, you push it in. Actually, I'll turn it on first, and you can see. I'll teach you to take a photo. Now, you hit that, the trash button there for like a couple of seconds, and then you push the, the rear command dial in, and you come to formatting. And then you just choose slot one. And then you go up to OK. And then you press OK and it formats. And then you do exactly the same for slot two. So you hold that down for a couple of seconds, push that button in. And then go down to the next one. And then over to the right up and then OK and it's formatted as easy as that so once you once you learn that you'll do that within about three or four seconds it's better than diving through all the menus and, and trying to find the format um, option in there so this is a quick little way to do do formatting of memory cards so thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one Fuji cameras Bah. Man, stop. <laughs> so there, there you have the the exposure modes with the dial, the AS. The other thing is you got this exposure comp compensation dial, not a compensation dial. <laughs> that could be in the bloopers. <laughs> so I hope you like those bloopers. I certainly did anyway. I got a bit of a laugh out of them. So next week's video. Um, we're heading over to Orton Bradley Park again. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I spoke to you about going back there to do the waterfall track. Now, that's what next week's video is all about. So I hope you join me in seeing how we got on in that waterfall track. So we'll see you then.